Okay, got another mailbag Monday. Got about 10 or 11 packages in here. A lot of them come off of eBay. I think there might be one from Amazon in here, but let's get started. Okay, first off, I have mini USB wireless interior, car interior lighting. Don't remember ordering any interior car lights. Well, I do have a car. Let's see what we got here. Okay, USB atmosphere light. I got these off of auction. Usually go for about 74 cents US. Got them off of auction for 25 cents. If I can get into it. And what this is, is basically a USB light. Click them to your USB port of anything. And you got a flashlight. Uh, my car has, I have a DC to AC converter in my car where it had, plugs into your cigarette lighter and gives you 120 volts output. And on one side it has a USB. Yeah, I figured I'd just put this in there just to give me a little light sometimes because sometimes it's a little dark in my car driving down the road. I don't know, I got it cheap, 25 cents, so we'll see how it does. Okay, next I have USB Mosquito Repellent. A little handy dandy box came in. Okay, what this is, as you can tell there, this is is a USB powered mosquito repellent similar to a oh what are those things called thermocells I have a couple of them they work really well and looking online because the mosquitoes are tearing me up in my backyard I'm just looking for different ways to get rid of them or to thin them off some way or another and I come across this. Now I have LiPo batteries from my RC trucks and I have a converter that will convert the LiPo into USB power. So I figure I could, you know, charge a battery up, carry it around the yard, or sometimes I'm working at my garden, you know, see if that would work. Something portable that I would have to keep on using the fuel cells, the timer cell. What this does, you got your USB power and you slide the little pads in there and the mosquito pads. And if you can see down inside there, there is a metal plate. What that metal plate will do is heat up and create the heat to make the fumes off the pad. And the fumes magically, I don't know, get rid of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes don't like it. I don't know. I'm going to try it out. And, you know, it cost me about $1.75. So if it doesn't work, I'm not out a whole lot of money. But if it works, it'd be a lot cheaper than keep on buying thermocell refill butane cartridges. I have... Found out a way to refill the butane cartridges, but it's still, you know, a little costly. So, just something I'm trying out. And next, all the way from Shenzhen, is a MP4 part. Don't remember ordering any MP4 parts or anything like that. I think I know what this is. Huh, that is not what I expected it to be. Yeah, thanks for shopping with them. All right. Actually cut into the bottom of the bag when I opened it up. Okay. What this is... Is a USB powered flexible light. Found this when I was looking for these. Basically the same thing, except it has a little more directed light. You could plug it in to a laptop. And you get yourself a you know keyboard light. 
Uh, I think I paid like 75 cents for these, 74 cents. It wasn't a whole lot. Didn't get to pick the color, which, you know, is not that big of a deal. But I think it'll work. I'll give it a shot here in a little bit, and I'll tell you what I think about it here in a little bit. This one comes all the way from the Philippines, and it is a anti-mosquito repellent tablet. I think these are the little pads that go into the mosquito... Yep, that's what that's what these are. I don't know what these are. Like it's all in a foreign language. But it looks like a little cat with some writing. On it. But what these will work in? They should work in this. They should work in a thermocell. Just looking for a different way to save a little bit of money. Those pads aren't cheap, and I think these are like seventy-five cents for the ten of them here. Whatever it is, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, ten of them. And this one's open already. Get you a little bit better look on it, maybe. If anybody can read Philippines, maybe you could tell me what that means. I don't know. Kind of smells like smells like pine sap and something. I don't know. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I won't order them again. We'll see. Next, we have this mystery package. There's no decoration on it, just my address, but it did come from New York. So this may have been one of the purchases I got off of Amazon, or it might have been at eBay. I don't know. Let me try to be careful opening this one up. Very large. Oh, uh, yes. This is... I'm waiting for this for a little bit. This is a Matrix. A, it's an LED dot matrix that runs off of a Max 7219 chipset. Go ahead and open this up. Let y'all take a look at it. It's green. I don't know if I ordered green or blue or what. I don't remember. Let's get a little green tag. Oh, has some jumper wires in there for me. It's nice of them. You can order these separately. Each piece. This is four pieces. You can order each one of them separately. I think you can give them about a dollar or so. I, I paid, I think it was about four dollars for this and the cords. And... You can do all kinds of little scrolling me uh, scrolling messages, symbols. I've seen people do little rudimentary games you can do with them, big matrices. Uh, just trying this out. Uh, i got a little plan for it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. If it does work, you'll see it in the next video, I bet, if it does work. But I'm going to power that with this. This is a Arduino Nano. I'm sure it's just a clone. Those pins are, of course, it ain't gonna want to focus for me. But those pins are a little bent up, and I have to figure that out, clean them up a little bit. But this, you can hook it up with these to that, get your scrolling messages, do your games, whatever you want to do with a little display. Uh, Paid about three dollars for the Arduino Nano, and came with a cord. I got cords, but you never, never have enough extension cords or USB cords for it. Up next is a Mosquito N two hundred five one five four four times one. You can start to see a little bit of a. thing going on with this mailbag Monday. It's very hot where I live at, very humid, and I got a lot of mosquitoes and they're starting to get aggravating. So I'm just looking for different ways to get rid of them. 
my daughter, when she gets bit by them, she gets little whelps on her and she doesn't like going outside when they start biting her. So I'm trying to find different ways to help her out the mosquitoes. This is a 50 pack of a different type of pad, similar to ones I have over here. And I paid $2.39 for these. These will go in the thermocell and that USB power. I might actually power that off of a battery ba battery bank I have. But just trying to find different things, different ways of getting rid of the mosquitoes. I'm going to try to figure out which one of these works the best. And if they do work, or whichever one works the best, I'm going to buy you know, probably another yeah, a good bit of them if they do work. Trying to save a little money on the thermosel pads. And up next we have a tie times one. I haven't worn a tie in a long time. I haven't bought one in an even longer time, so yep, those aren't ties. Well, I guess you could call them a tie. Okay, what these are. Okay, the little card here says Smile Slide Drums. No, these aren't mini drums. <laughs> They're not toys. These. What these are, is plastic rings. And I use, I'm going to use these in the garden to clip to my tomatoes and some of my climbing plants like cucumbers and such like that that climb up my fences that I got, trellises. Found these at Lowe's, something very similar to it, not as uh, cheap as these, no pun intended. Um, they're like $7 for, you know, 10 or 15 of them. They, that was a little bit too much I wanted to spend right in the moment. I got this pack of 20 for 37 cents on uh, on eBay for on bid. But I can run the plant through here, clip it to the fence, and it'll hold in place. And when the plant grows, it'll help it along its way. If it gets too big for the clip, I can always take it off. I just had an issue this year with some of my tomatoes and a lot of my uh, cucumbers growing up the fence and not growing up the fence when they're getting started and I you know, didn't spend a whole lot of time getting started with them and I think this would help them out a little bit better. I figured I'd try them out and it's a whole lot better than saving $7. Okay, here we have mosquito repellent. I guess that's going to be the theme of this video, mosquito No fancy box like the last one. What this is, is pretty much the same thing as this, except for this one runs off of 120, 120 volts. I guess I could probably scan that. Might want to keep all that probably instructions on what not to do. But anyways, pretty much the same principles there. It's pretty much the same principle as every thermocell is. You slide your little pads in there. Got two different types over there already. Metal plate inside heats up, produces a little fumes. Mosquitoes don't like the fumes, the smell, whatever it is, and they take off. Hmm. One thing I see might be a problem. If you can read that or not, but it says 220 volts. Hmm. So when I use this, I will definitely have a fire extinguisher on hand because I don't know. I paid a dollar sixty-three for this off of eBay. We'll see if it works well. Um, what I thought about doing with this is plugging it in when I'm outside on my patio, reading a book or whatever. I got extension cord with a fan blowing on me, charging my phone up with it, and I could just plug this into the extension cord and maybe get rid of some of the mosquitoes. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm just out a dollar sixty-three. So we'll see. 
All right, this one is not going to be mosquito repellent. I guarantee you, this is a tricky toy. I know what it is. Y'all might laugh at me, but I'm gonna do a video on this here later to show you how good this really is. Magic relighting candles. Blow them out and they relight instantly. Now for this, what is it, 10 there? Yeah, 10 pack. I paid 50 cents for these off eBay. I was gonna get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I saw these and I was in no hurry, so I favored, I'll say 50 cents. And I'm not gonna use these on a cake or a pie or anybody's birthday celebration. You're just gonna stay around, stick around, look out for one of my next videos. You'll see what I'm gonna do with these. Pretty interesting, pretty handy. And last but not least is a USB tester. Been wanting one of these for a while. Finally bit the bullet and went ahead and bought one. I paid three dollars and fifteen, sixteen cents for this off eBay. They got cheaper ones than that. I got one a little bit fancier. Look fancier screen and what I was planning on doing with this is testing out various you know USB powered objects and it tells you how much current draws off of them how much voltage so on and so forth you plug it in and the little screen comes on same thing with this if I'm gonna power this off my my battery pack I want to see how much how long it's going to last, how much current is drawing, so on and so forth. Just something to, I don't know, just something to keep me occupied. Give me just a second and I'll go get my battery pack. Let's we'll see how this works. Okay, this is my Anchor Power Core 10,000, 10,000 milliamp hour battery, battery pack. Really good battery. I highly suggest this brand. One thing is if uh, you're trying to power a, or charge Samsung phones that you uh, use a USB C style adapter to get the newer version. This is the older version. I didn't realize there was two versions. This one you have to use the mini or micro, whatever that is, to charge it. So I had to get this little adapter. And uh, I actually found that off on Dollar Tree. Anyways, so I'm going to plug the tester in. It's showing 5.21 volts. All right. So let's plug in. Let's plug in this flexible light and see how this works. And the more light works. It tells you it's drawing 0.17 amps. Hmm. So I guess it works 0.2 amps. Not bad. Well, at least it works. And there it goes. It tells you it's drawing one milliamp hour. So, yeah, it works. Found both of these works. The light here. Let's try out this little itty bitty light here. Let's see how this works. A little blue. I knew it wasn't going to be too bright. I didn't want anything too bright for that miniature LED or USB light. I just wanted to something a little ambient light from a car. But I think this is going to work out for what I need it for. I really don't need it. Just more for curiosities. It's got a reset button. You hold it down there and you can see it reset itself. Either way, I think it's going to work out pretty good. It's going to just kind of keep me informed on how much power I'm using on my battery, how how long I can use one of these for off of this battery, so on and so forth. Just logistics and 
you know, all kinds of nerdy stuff, but you know, that's what makes life fun. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna finish my pina colada bang here. And we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.